you're just starting out with After Effects, one of the first effects that you're gonna do is set extension. It doesn't need to be difficult. And in today's episode, we are not using tracking, we are not using green screen, we are doing the basic set extension. However, that basic effect is gonna really transform the look of your videos. If you're new to this channel, my name is Paul, filmmaker and photographer. On this channel, we do some gear review, tutorials about filmmaking in general. So if this interests you, consider subscribing. Let's dive into the set extension. So I walked up to this mountain where I wanted to get like an epic shot of the view of the valley. I was recording a cinematic sequence for my Lightroom presets video. <laughs> The original image is pretty okay, but I wanted it to be even more impressive. I wanted it to be like completely panorama. So when I got home and checked the footage, it was not as impressive as I wanted it to be. I had to do a basic set extension. You can use this effect in After Effects, Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. However, it is a little bit easier to use After Effects for this specific occasion. It's easier to work with for effects. So for this shot, I put the camera on a tripod. There's no tracking involved. However, to sell the shot a little bit better, we're gonna add a small movement to that shot, but that's coming up later. So what was the first thing that I did? I knew that this cinematic sequence was gonna be in cinema scope, 235 to one. So immediately I just put the black bars on the bottom and top. So I knew the framing I was gonna use. I wanted myself to be in the lower left thirds. So I placed myself there, scaled it, down while I was on top of that mountain. I did take some still pictures of the valley and they will work perfectly for the set extension. So I added the sky to fill up the top. I also added more mountains. You have to be careful that the mountains are matching up with your original scene so that it is quite fluid and seamless, not noticing that it's actually a set extension. And the next thing, add some motion to it and you're good to go. That was the scene that I used in the video. Now, let's take it one step further. What if you want to change the background completely? Not a problem? Well, a little bit of a problem. Let's not call it a problem, it's a challenge. As you can see behind me, a mountain range there, you have some clouds going, and it's gonna be quite difficult to key that, meaning to remove the mountains and the sky. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a Luma key. We're gonna put the tint on it to make it black and white, and then we're gonna adjust it with curves until the contrast is as high as possible so that the sky is completely white, meaning that it's gonna be transparent. And myself, I'm completely black, meaning that I'm gonna be opaque. You're gonna see me in that shot. We put the lower sequence on Luma mats inverted. Everything kind of disappears, more or less. Now, let's mask it because I'm only gonna use the body. So I want to keep the grass, so I'm gonna mask out the grass, the grass, so that that one stays in the foreground. Now let's drop on a completely new background. You can choose whatever background that you want, but I've chosen this mountain range that I have found on ArcGrid. You don't have to use that specific footage. If you want to try out ArcGrid, check out the link below and you have a free trial. So I'm putting the mountains where I want them to be. We're gonna color correct it very quickly to make it even moodier. We're also gonna have to color grade the grass because I wanted that to be like a cooler tone so it matches more with the snowy mountains here. And now to sell the shot even more, we are gonna use that same zoom as we did in the first example. However, on the foreground, the original footage, I'm gonna zoom that a little bit faster so you have a kind of a parallel effects, meaning that the foreground is gonna move faster than the background. And I think this two, three second shot looks pretty darn good. Now, let's add some snow to it. Again, I found this snow clip on ArcGrid. You can use whatever you want to. Maybe you can recreate the snow or rain in After Effects yourself. Let's smack that on and change the mode to screen. There you have it. It's a fairly quick and simple way to do set extension. I'm spinning again. I have used set extension since almost day one when I first dabbled into After Effects and it has given me a lot of work because I mastered that technique with a set extension. 
basic set extension. Maybe in a future episode we're going to do a tracking set extension as well, meaning that the camera can move and you're going to have whatever behind you moving with that, which is very popular, but that's more like an advanced level, so let's save that for another time. In the meantime, I hope you liked this video. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. I look like the Queen of England.